another drive-by with Don. Uh, one of our programs is a family program. It's for working with individuals. And in the course of working with individuals, one of the things that we've noticed is a lot of the things you do in a business, you also, if you do them in a family, you might have to change terminology a little bit. But if you do them in a family, it makes it pretty interesting and you get a wonderful, wonderful dynamic. So one of the things we've done is built a family program years back based on a lot of the same leadership, teamwork, business, organizational concepts um, and creating culture. So I mean, it's been a wonderful thing. Recently, Reader's Digest had a great article and it talked about how stories are so important to families and how stories help kids to be more stable. Kids that know stories about their family and where they came from and their family history, it's made a huge difference in terms of those kids' stability and ability to achieve and compete in a modern world. So I think about whether it's a family or an organization, make sure you're telling stories, make sure you're teaching people, make sure you're telling them about where they came from and their heritage, even if it wasn't a blood heritage, but purely a position that they're in, it could be the team they're with. Um, the U.S. Naval Academy, Naval Academy has all sorts of stories and heritage that they indoctrinate freshmen into. Um, a lot of organizations have that, but I find a lot of times uh, private family businesses don't do that. Um, nonprofits have a tendency to not do that. They focus a lot on who they're serving, but they need to also balance that with who is doing the serving and stories and things like that. So if you're not using stories effectively enough, highly recommend you do that. Think it would be very valuable. If you have trouble with telling those things, let us know. We'll be glad to help you out.